photographer, Suri Newton. Speaker, uh, the motion before us, this House condemned Islam Islamophobia and all other forms of systemic racism and religious discrimination, and furthermore, condemned the recent terrorist murders of six people at the Islamic Mosque of Quebec City and the rise of incidents of hate speech in communities in British Columbia. Madam Speaker, it is my privilege, it is my honor to rise to, in support of this motion. This motion is very timely and fitting to discuss the issues in this motion. Recently, we have seen rise in racist incidents in Lower Mainland and other places, coinciding, I would say, largely with the rise of a person with his divisive approach to politics down south. I think it is display of demagoguery of the highest form. Blaming Mexicans for crime in the United States cities and building walls to keep them out. Blaming Muslims for terrorist attacks in the United States. Dividing communities must be rejected, Madam Speaker, and that's what we are doing right now. Then issuing an executive order to ban travelers from seven countries, mostly of Muslim citizens. Then to say it is not a ban on Muslims, really? Please do not insult the people's intelligence. By the way, all terrorist attack incidents in America or any incident of harm to Americans, none of the people involved were from these seven countries that are banned. Since that time, we have seen the racist flyers in different lower mainland communities, Eversford, Richmond, New Westminster, Madam Speaker, I want to thank all those communities who came together to stand together and reject this racist approach by few. Madam Speaker, the weekend of January 28th, for me, I think it will be a very, very um, uh, week of, uh, weekend of um, uh, remembering. It started with me standing with 34 community leaders of different faiths, of different groups, denouncing United States ban on travelers from seven countries. On January 29th, I, along with my many colleagues from Lower Mainland and our leader, we were with our Muslim brothers and sisters celebrating BC Muslim Association's 50th anniversary in Canada. Believe me, Madam Speaker, there's a lot to celebrate there. But then the news of terrorist attack in Quebec City started to pour in, and the celebration turned into mourning. Madam Speaker, as a result, six people were killed. Khalid Belkasimi, Abu Bakr Tabdi, Abdul Karim Hassani, Azadeen Sufayans, Mamadou Tanu Berry, and Ibrahima Berry, and dozens other who were injured. Madam Speaker, this attack was not only on our Muslim brothers and sisters, it was an attack on all of us Canadians. It was an attack on humanity. It is hard to comprehend, Madam Speaker, that someone can think about attacking another person who was probably in the most peaceful position that one can be, knelt to pray. Madam Speaker, we also want to send with this motion at this time our deepest condolences and our sympathies and prayers to those families of the victims. Today, through this motion, we in this House are sending a message also, again, to the families of the victims that you're not alone in this. The whole nation is standing with you in the support. And we also want to send a message to our Muslim brothers and sisters in Canada that we are united to quell the forces of division, and those who are trying to divide us, we are one people. That's the message that is coming out of this House, Madam Speaker. We're also reaffirming our commitment to the very Canadian, basic human Canadian values of inclusiveness, multiculturalism, recommitting to continue to build Canada on those values of love and caring. Send a message to the world that no one will be allowed to divide us as Canadians and as human beings for whatever their personal purpose in life is, 
on the basis of religion, race, and place of origin. At the same time, we must stay, stay vigilant and not be complacent because we in Canada are not immune to these kind of racist incidents. Thank and you, we member. also sending a reminder to each one of us Thank that you, together member. we can build a better Canada, Canada that is more equal, more peaceful, more inclusive. Madam Speaker, thank you for the opportunity to speak on this.